everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, today is December 18, 2023, and I'm here to do a Let's Talk video. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, there's things I want to say. There's a lot I got to say today, guys. And so I'm going to try not to make this video too, too long like I always try. But uh, anyway, I think we're getting used to the fact that I make pretty long videos. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot here. Um, I do have a, another way in for you. I just did a vlog and I shared what I weighed in, but I'll give you the dates and the time, so or the date and the weight, so I'm not confusing you too too much. We're gonna talk a little bit about the retreat, uh, mainly what I took away from the retreat. I'm not gonna give you like all the ins and outs of it, but just what I took away from the retreat, because uh, I think it's important to my health journey here on YouTube or my health quest, as I call it now. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about what I came home to. What I came home to has been was a tremendous amount of stress. And I'll, I'm going to let you in on that. We're going to talk about my way in. And then we're going to talk about, honestly, to conclude it all up, we're going to talk about, I don't know, some amazing things that I feel like is finally happening um, with my body, with the changes that I've been doing, because I've been very consistent and determined um to to get my health to, to to finally do this you know the retreat what i got out of it guys um there's a lot i can talk about but i just really want to just hone in on this just really really quickly guys i am somebody who really enjoys being around people i do i love being around people i am very i wouldn't say i'm a social butterfly i'm not but i really do enjoy being around people uh, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy listening to people. I enjoy that whole thing. And I do have a story that I really would love to share with you guys. I wrote it down because it's kind of funny in a way. Not funny like it's going to make you laugh, but the irony of it all, maybe. It's a little bit of that. And I would really love to share that with you guys. But I really am somebody who really enjoys uh, being around people. I really, really do. Now, the, I do like my privacy. Well, not my privacy. How should I want to say it? I do like to be alone. I do. I like when I read and I like when I do things. But who I've been for many years, uh, it's just not me, you know. And I sort of just sort of lived in my little home, in my little bubble. And it just, the bubble was getting tighter and tighter and tighter. A little bit there I got there a couple years ago maybe a year ago or so where it got almost to where I was starting to not even want to go out like large crowds uh, started yeah but I did never really got to that but I remember feeling a little anxious in that with that said okay with that said um, being in that circumstance at the retreat, I really felt like a fish out of water, even though that's my element. I'm okay with things like that. I did feel like a fish out of water. So anyway, make this long story short, what I got out of it, honestly, is this guys, uh, people opened up and we were assigned a table family. We were assigned the family, what they call the family. The first night we got there, they already knew who was going to be paired up and it was five of us. So there was eight families because there was eight tables and you sat at the same table every time and you did everything with that family. So if you were uh, going to go to mass, when we went to mass on Sunday, we or Saturday, we ended up going Saturday. We, we went to get, we sat together when we did any activity. It was us. We even slept together in, in a way because we had only one gentleman on our, on our table, but, and he slept in his quarters. But honestly, we slept, uh, there was single beds. It was one big room two rows here, two rows on the other side of the wall. That was about my chest height, maybe. Um, so when anybody talked, everybody listened, everybody, if somebody snored, it, the whole room heard it. Okay. It, the whole room heard it. So it was two rows here, two rows here divided by a little, little wall, concrete wall. And, um, but yet, yet our beds were right for like right there together. It was always together. So, you slept together, you ate at the same table together, you did everything together, you bonded, okay? And one thing that I realized for me, guys, going there is this. I did talk about things that cause me pain and and it all has to do with God, okay? God is at the front of it, all right? And how you maybe dealt with it and, and you're welcome to talk or you don't have to say anything. Nothing's forced, nothing's pushed. But after a time, this is why they put you together so much is because you become very accustomed. And let me tell you, 
you really don't sleep. It is like from six to like midnight. It's like, go, 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 go. The first night we did not go to bed till one in the morning because we were doing activities and you bond in such a short amount of time. But what I realized for me guys was that, yes, I did talk about certain issues. No, I did not talk about my personal thing that I've been dealing with for years and years and years. No, I did not. However, however, I, I found my purpose and what was my, what was my takeaway, if you will, is that I was there to listen more than anything because listening got me out of my own head. And part of what happened for me for many years is that I lived in my own head. I lived in the cycle of that problem with that relationship and how it really took over my life that every day it had to do with that every day, every day, every day. And it, it, my bubble then became smaller. I hope that makes sense. And yeah, I've been working a lot this past year. I've been working a lot. A lot's changed. A lot's changed. But one thing that happened while I was there was I was listening. I was listening to people's extreme heartaches even. And real quick side note, uh, from the day one, from the moment we weren't even assigned our family, we weren't even assigned a family. And we were already told, one, don't give advice unless you're asked. Two, you're not there to solve anybody's problems because some of the things you're going to hear are you know, hard. And the other thing is you're not there to compare yourself. Don't feel like if somebody's going through this medical issue, whatever, that therefore yours is less than, and they were like, no, nobody compare nothing. You're all equal and your problems and your suffering and your issues matter. I absolutely love that. But, and I did open up. I'm not saying I didn't talk, but I just enjoyed listening. And I don't mean enjoy like I hear, love to hear their suffering. I meant it was like my pleasure to hear them, to let them let it out. Does that make sense? Sometimes when you live in your head and you're dealing with something and you've been dealing with something, it becomes your normal. It becomes your normal. And you don't see any way out. You don't. By the grace of God, I've been working on this for a year. And also, I was able to go to a retreat and bond with people and be out of my own head. And it, per it brought perspective to my own issues. Again, I've been working at this for over a year now. No, a year, not over a year, a year approximately now. And, um, but you do live in your head sometimes and your day is dictated by how you feel. And I don't mean physically, like if you have a headache or something, I mean about how you feel in here, it's dictated. Your day gets dictated by that. You know how you start your day. And that's why a lot of times I would say that I would drag my feet and everything I did, I did like pushing myself. So I just realized why I was there. I was there to connect. I was there to understand that, yeah, I, what I've been through is valid, but, but we're not here alone, you know, and you're not alone and you're not alone. And it just, I just wanted to listen. I wanted to listen. I wanted to let people vent and I vented too. Don't get me wrong. I did too, but I felt like that's what I took from it. Just you're doing good, Laura, keep going. But now we need to move past this. And now we need to connect and go out not just not you know because I go shopping I go to the grocery store I go pick up my children I go da 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 but like really connect in some way and so I have some ideas and I will let you know that but it was just enriching to me to shh don't think anymore <laughs> don't be in here shh and the other good thing here's and here's to extend that thought, I'll tell you this. I told my husband I needed to be uncomfortable in my surroundings without the comforts of my own bed, my own shower, go eat when I want, what I want, and stay on keto and stay on keto war. Shower, exercise, get up and move. Everything I was able to do on my own. There, you're on somebody else's time. 
There, you need to share the shower. There, you didn't have time to do this blow drying and makeups and no, get up. I put some brows, mascara, a little lip oil I put on and out the door I went. I just made sure I showered every day here for the two days I was there. Oh yeah. But yeah, I didn't need all that. I didn't need to take a curling iron. I didn't need to take a blow dryer. They had one blow dryer going <laughs> or maybe like one or two blow dryers and then they wouldn't even put it away. They would just leave it right there so that the next one could come and use it because it was like, go, 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 go. You ate at a certain time. You ate what was available to you, you know. You you were let go to go to the restroom. At, you know what I mean? And sometimes that's good because you do value what you have. And I just needed that for me. I needed that. It was a really, it just, it was just, a, those are the things that I took away. So definitely we'll do it again in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. But I will be doing some things and um, yeah, I, I will talk about it more. And we'll All get right. into the food. Now in the retreat, you guys, I did good, okay? I did really, really good because I will tell you when it comes to the food, I had to eat <laughs> and I had to eat what they, they provided, you know, and I was very, very grateful and very, very blessed, you know, um, but there was a lot of pastries. There was a lot of cookies. There was a lot of different types of pastries. There was a lot of nachos and, and chips and it, it just a lot of that, you know, and I didn't touch it other than one cookie and, and a piece of bread with my, with my soup. But other than that, I ate enough and I did not have the snacks. And then I had my water bottle. I took this with me. I took that and I just would, I would clean the straw. I would clean the, the thing. I would do the best I could with my soap. I would clean it really, 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 really good. And I just kept filling it up with water. And that's what I drank. I didn't have coffee. I didn't have caffeine. I didn't have any caffeine, guys. <laughs> anyway. I came home, uh, and we'll talk about what I ate when I got home, but for the week. Um, so that would have been the 11th to the 17th. Okay. So that was last week. Uh, I came home to something really, really hard in itself when it comes to one of my children. I told you, I've mentioned Aiden, my son, Aiden, who's 22, and he's been going through some really, really rough things in his, like I said, we all go through something. I don't care who you are, but when it comes to your children, you know, you really try you really want to take it away, you know, but you can't, you got to let them go through it too. However, um, I am mom and I am, and I call his bumper and, um, his soundboard and I did not really sleep this past week. <laughs> uh, I really did not. And my husband, we took turns with him and, um, we helped him through it. And he's also on a very, finally on a good spiritual journey himself. And, uh, you know, being atheist for a good number of years, even though he's 22, he's been atheist for a long time. And then he became agnostic because uh, he had to, you know, he kept saying, you know, there's something there, mom. But, you know, I respect you, you have your own faith, but it's just, I don't believe in that, you know. And, but anyway, that's not really uh, the issue. And in a way it is, but in a way it isn't. But uh, he, he's, He's going to mass. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so he's on a spiritual growth himself. And this week, as hard as it was, it was an eye opener for him too. It was. But as far as it comes to my health journey, okay, my health quest, uh, we'll keep it on that. Uh, I will tell you, I ate canes, raising canes on Sunday when I came home from the retreat that same day on the way home. I was tired husband was there by the way they were there on Sunday I didn't know that the family got invited and they were there we were sitting in a, behind the podium like we were sitting like if we were on the stage looking out and we saw these rows of chairs and we're like what a, what was what's, what's going on and then the family walks in and my family was my son Evan and my husband and uh, and I did talk I had to give a speech a little speech so I did talk um, but anyway on the way home uh, he went and got us some canes and then I met him at the house because I was so sleepy by then my eyes I I wanted to hold my eyes but uh, anyway I had all my canes and then on Monday I was so so tired I did the vlog I, I ended the vlog and I put it up but on Sunday I had canes again I'm sorry on Monday the 11th I had canes again and then on the 12th I got back on my my keto 
but I did not work out because that's when everything happened with my son. Okay. He, yeah, that's what everything happened. And so I did not sleep that night. And then on the 13th, uh, I was so tired. We went to Cane's again, or my husband brought Cane's. We didn't go, but my husband brought Cane's. And however, I did walk on Wednesday. I did. I did a little bit of walking um, just to, you know, that's what I, like my body was calling for it. And so I did a little bit of a light cardio with uh, the channel Improved Health. Her name is Jules. I did a little bit of that. So that was really, really good, but I did no strain training. So then on uh, the 14th, on Thursday, the 14th, um, again, still dealing with my son and helping him through still no sleep, taking turns with hubby. Uh, we ended up going to Jack in the Box. My husband goes, you know what? I'm just going to go down here. I'm not going to do the Canes because Canes is a little bit of ways. I, and by then we were kind of tired of it. And I said, fine. And anyway, he got Jack in the Box. I got some tacos. Um, but that night though, I did make it a point to work out and I actually did it pretty late around eight 30. Cause I was like, my body's like wanting it, you know, and I, I, I ate and, but it was just more of the need that I had. Not, not because I ate that or I'm da da da. No, but because just, I felt like my body just wanted that honestly. So I really only started to do the cardio that day and that's it. And then I ended up strength training. Yeah, it felt really, really good. So then on Friday, I got back on my keto for program. I slept a little bit better. My husband, my son is doing a lot better at this point. And then, um, but I did not work out. And that was because, oh, that was because my son and I had a very nice evening and we talked more calm. Everything was good. And this is where he started really coming to some reflection, you know, so I didn't work out, but I stayed on my program, my keto. And then on the Saturday, the 16th stayed on keto. I worked out strain train. It was amazing. I felt good. And then the 17th we, was Sunday. We went to mass and my son Aiden went to mass as well. He actually went to confession on Saturday and then on Sunday he went to mass what more can I ask for? I'm telling you, <laughs> but it was a hard week. It was a hard week. However, let me tell you what didn't happen. I never felt like I wasn't going to get back on. I never felt that. I never did. Also what did not happen. And I don't know if it's because I came from the retreat and I proved a lot to myself there, you know, in terms of the food and how I don't have to have these pastries. I did not graze. I usually graze. That's what I do. I graze throughout the day when I'm stressed, especially when I'm tired and overwhelmed. I did not, nor did I have a craving to do it. I did not. I ate my canes. I ate Jack in a Box and that's all I ate. Once I was done, I was done. And so I didn't go eat here, eat here, eat here. No. In order to have the urge to. The other thing that I noticed was that I, my body wanted that physical workout and it felt amazing to strength train so that was my week it was hard but now it, it is good and we're doing good and and yeah we're doing good so the other thing really really quickly that I noticed about my body was I started I don't know what it is guys but I saw a difference in my body like my ring was like really loose, like really, really loose. I looked in the mirror and I like actually a little bit, I saw a little bit of my, my, uh, bones, you know? And I was like, Oh my goodness. Like I really saw a difference in my body, even in my apron and everything for the first time this week. Like I really saw another big jump in my body and I'm thinking, wow, out of all the weeks now, now, you know, but we're going to take it further. Let's go to the weigh in. Okay. Uh, I'm, I, I noticed like, I'm serious. I noticed these things, you know, I did all that try on before I left and in that vlog video, I did a bunch of clothing try on and you saw some of the clothes were loose, but this, I mean, I really saw a difference in my body. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the weigh in. So we're going to go from the third of December. Okay. So to try to recap a little bit. The 3rd of December, I weighed in at 186.4, okay? 
Then I went to the retreat the 8th. And then when I got back on Sunday, I did not weigh myself. I weighed myself the Monday, so the 11th. And I, that's when I showed you the vlog and I shared with you what I weighed that morning, which was um, 187.6. So I was up 1.2 pounds to 187. And then now I weighed myself yesterday, which was the 17th. And I came in at, and I'll put it right here. That's what I weighed. I weighed 185.2. That is the lowest, the absolute lowest that I've been doing this since July 5th. That's the lowest because I had gotten to 185.8 <laughs> and now I'm 185.2. <laughs> uh, even though it's, yeah. But I will tell you what the scale did. You want to know what the scale did? Three times, it did it all three times because I weigh three times. And then on the final one, that's what I register. It went to 184, 184, 184, and then would go at 185. And it was toying. And finally, I just looked up. I didn't move. I just let it ring, you know, register. And it registered at 185.2. But all three times, every time I would look down, it was just doo, 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 doo. <laughs> And then it would stay on 185.2. So... After coming off of the retreat and then coming off into this week, eating canes three times, jack in the box, not working out, lack of sleep and all that. My, I felt when I got, as I was going on in the week, I felt less inflamed. I believe, I don't know. There's a lot of things, you know, the body sometimes does strange things, <laughs> but I do believe that help, it helped to walk a little bit walk off some of that energy also my mindset is really much more clearer i i did not despair in my son's situation i really i have a lot of faith and it showed in how i talked to him but it also showed in how i felt inside i was never so frantic because we've been dealing with this for a little bit now and i also think what matters is that I build enough muscle um, in me by strain training that my muscles are active and lean and are working for me. I think it's just a combination. That's my opinion. I don't know. But <laughs> tomorrow on my way 187 or Sunday I might be back. But it's all good. I felt I felt light. That's what I'm saying. I, I really felt like I was losing inflammation even in the midst of it. I was even shocked. Like I said, my rings, everything was like just, it was so amazing. So that's it. That is my update. That is everything, guys. I really feel um, very hopeful and I feel, I hope to come share some things with you guys. Anyways, that's it, my friends. That is everything. Um, yeah, I am weighing 185.2. I know I had a goal of 179 by the end of the year. And if I look at the numbers, that's really running it really, really tight at this point. But I have a lot to be happy for because like I said, I really feel different this time around. Like I really handled this whole week so differently. And I think it's because the healthier I'm getting mentally, the, the, the more my spiritual growth in my, in my faith, it, you can't help but deal with things different and look at things with a different lens of life, you know? And I really do believe that part of that is this journey as well. I don't, I don't look at the numbers a lot like that. Yeah, I do track my carbs and I do weigh in once a week because they matter, but I really look at it like I'm just doing this thing. I am. So that's why if I don't reach it, it's, it's not the end all or be all. And I'm not certainly not here stressing about it. I'm not, but yes, I will keep that goal in mind and I will do what I can, you know, uh, but I'm going to do everything I'm doing now is what I'm saying. So anyways, that's it guys. I will let you guys go. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how you guys are doing. And uh, again, I'll tell you that story. It's kind of funny story. Not funny like that, but like the irony of it all. I'll, I'll let you know I, I get in trouble for something but then 
and I'll, I'll tell you that story. Okay. All right, my friends. That is everything. I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, take care. Bye.